Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so, so much for being here. Okay, I hope you guys had a great long weekend. I cannot believe February has gone by so fast. I hope it's been a great month for you. Speaking of February, it is Black History Month and I watched Glory a couple weeks ago and thought it was amazing. And tonight I am watching the movie 12 Years a Slave. I remember watching the Academy Awards. I think this won Best Picture that year. And I remember wanting to see it. But that was at a time when I basically avoided anything hard to watch. I've since realized how important it is to watch these kind of things and get out of our comfort zone to not only learn, but to just remember, I don't know anything specific about the story. So I am excited and nervous, apprehensive, and glad to be finally watching this movie with you guys. Remember, if you want to hang out on Patreon with me and some awesome people, help vote on polls and all that good stuff, here that is. And it's always helpful if you can like and subscribe. Okay, let's get to it. True story. <sighs> Y'all fresh want you to take your knife. Make it sing. Clean the shirts off. <sighs> oh, this was way too recent in our history, wasn't it? He's trying to write a letter? Does he know her? <laughs> Why is she crying? That wasn't the same woman, right? I guess this is a flashback. Get oh, now. yes, kids. I love you, Margaret. Oh, I love that name. I don't want to hear any more noise. <laughs> Three weeks and two days. Darling, it's good money. If only I didn't have to share your cooking with other people. You don't. She's leaving? Can I get a kiss, please? Thank you. Look how darling oh, she is. Sorry. Thank you. Well, they're a very adorable family. Mr. Northup, I have two gentlemen whose acquaintance you should make. Brown and Hamilton. May we trouble you for a moment of your time to converse, sir? May we trouble you for a moment to converse? Sack is too constricting a word to describe the talent of the merry band with which we travel. We had just a devil of a time in procuring music for entertainment. If we could persuade you to accompany us as far as Washington. Is he gonna do it? Welcome to Washington, Solomon. <laughs> Some say not enough. $43 all to you. That is far more than my wages amounted. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know if this is before or after the beginning that we saw. Your generosity is extraordinary. And your talents are undeniable. To Solomon. Cheers. What the heck? It's all right, Solomon. There's no shame in it. Oh my gosh. One too many libations. <laughs> Please tell me those men didn't do this to him. There's nothing more we can do for him. Such is the pity. Well, boy, my name is Solomon. I'm a free man, a resident of Saratoga, New York. Produce your papers. You're no free man. You're nothing but a runaway from Georgia. What? Why? What? Why? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They can't just do that. Oh my gosh. They just tell him that? He's 
can't wipe your kids. I don't think kids. nails, it's just rags and tatters. Put it on. <gasps> His shirt. Yeah. Got no gratitude? No, my mom will come. Hush him up. Mom! My mother will come, I swear she will, but you must be silent. Oh my gosh. I feel sick. Two men I journeyed with. Certain they're making inquiries at this very moment. You know that? The reality to come is us being transported south. We'll be put to market. How? How? How is this real? Mama! Mama! Are you alright? Oh, thank heavens. Come on! No, don't! No, I don't want to hear you talk! Get in the yard! Just taking a little trip. That's all. They took her. I thought she was coming to take him home. Oh my gosh! Get out of that way, come on! The situation just seems so helpless. Like, who's gonna help them? Come on, move it! Get down right there. This is gonna be hard. His wife must be so worried. If you wanna survive, tell no one who you really are and tell no one you can read and write. This is horrifying. Oh, what's this music? I see we fight! Reed can't go against the whole crew. The rest here, born and bred slaves. They got no stomach for a fight. We're getting in the trap and we wish we'd die trying. Where are they going? How far away? Days ago, I was with my family. Tell no one who I am. That's the way to survive. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. He's got to get back. Oh. How can they make that sound so ominous? Just water and coal. Just He's getting farther and farther away from his life, and that is really worrying me. Please, no. Was he gonna rape her? Better off. Better than us. I'm out! The Negro known as Clemens Ray is my property. Clemens! Get him back! Help him! Clemens! This is breaking my heart. I'm very worried that the title, he can't be gone for 12 years. Mr. Mr. Norfolk, oh. off to work at Sandy Hill again. I have just the game. But one moment, sir. And give me Solomon. The customer waits. Jessica. Jessica. He was curious about his freedom. <gasps> Eliza. Those poor babies. What? What? His name is Solomon Northup. Why didn't you answer when called? My name's not Platt. My name. <gasps> Get this out of my car. Inspect them at your leisure. Try to play sound. Are you freaking kidding me? Take your time. Help yourself to refreshments. <gasps> Open your mouth. Look in there. Never been sick a day in his life. Ah, Mr. Ford. Benedict Cumberbatch. How much the ones Platt and Eliza? A thousand for Platt. This is a n of considerable talent. Seven hundred for Eliza? You have to take the kids. You're not taking me unless you take much. Eliza, quiet! You Your price for the boy. Yes, boy. Randolph, come forward. No, 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 no. Keep them together. There we go. You will grow into a fine beast. Six hundred for the boy. Done. I cannot sell the girl. She's a beauty. Thick lipped, bullet headed, cotton picking. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I can't even listen to this. So, Eliza, I'm fat. Pleasure. Good. This one's crying. Separated from her children. Couldn't be helped. Something to eat. And some rest. Your children will soon be forgotten. How could she say that to her? You would never recover from your children being taken. My name is John Tibbetts, William Ford's chief carpenter. You will refer to me as master. So clap your hands. Like this. Come on, man. Clap your hands. Run the floor. Run Better get away. One has a rope. It was hanging around his neck. Run. Do you think those two men he traveled with did this? They knew he had a wife and family, right? And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished. His doctrine. Ah! 
creek is plenty deep enough to stay out. It occurs to me that the expense of transportation would be materially diminished. Materially diminished? If we use the waterway. Are you an engineer or... Oh my gosh. Let the man say he's weak. It's a scheme. The passes are too tight. I reckon them are more than 12 feet at that most now. But you know yeah. what of transport and terraforming? I labor repairing the Champlain Canal on the section over which William Van Northwick was superintendent and entered into contracts for the transportation of timber from Lake Champlain to Troy. Well, I'll admit to being impressed, even if you won't. Is he doing this so he can escape? But you are a mom. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> I want him to listen to him. Maybe he'll help him if he tells him. I hope it brings us both much joy over the years. Over the years. <sighs> we need a we need a plan. <laughs> Have you stopped crying for your children? Will you ever let them go in your heart? Of course he won't. They are as my flesh. Then who is distressed? Do I upset the master and the mistress? Master Ford is a decent man. He is a slaver. Under the circumstances. Under the circumstances, he's a slaver. You luxuriate in his face. I survive. I will not fall into despair. You think he does not know that you are more than you suggest. So you settle into your role as plat. My back is thick with scars. Do not accuse me. I cannot accuse. I have done dishonorable things to survive. And for all of them, I have ended up here. Let me weep for my children. <laughs> and whoso I shall I receive, I can't receive that kind me. of depression about. <laughs> Amen. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. Do you think Mr. Ford really does know that he was captured? Make them boards flush. They are, sir. No, there is no such thing. They're smooth to the touch. Are you calling me a liar, boy? Oh, this guy is on a power trip. You are a dog. <gasps> and you better for following instruction. I'll do his orders. Well, then you'll be up at daybreak and commence to putting on clapboards. Yes, sir. He's got so much hate in his heart. Make them boards flush. They taking her. When I say I have my master's favor, you understand. He blessed me with every comfort and luxury in life. But Master Barry's daughter, she always looked at me with an unkind nature. And she hated Emily. No matter she and Emily were flesh and flesh. Oh my gosh. Eventually I was brought to the city under the false pretense of our free papers being executed. <gasps> my poor children. What are they gonna do to Eliza? Holy cow. I need Mr. Ford to do good. I thought I told you to commence to putting on clappers. These have all been replaced. God damn you. I did as instructed. If there's something wrong, it's wrong with the instruction. You bastard. Oh my gosh. Strip your clothes. Please no. Strip. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. No! 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 Professor Timmy just wants to whoop me for using the nails you gave me. <laughs> I will have flesh, and I will have all of it. <laughs> Do not leave the plantation, for if you run, I cannot protect you. Stay here. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be in so much trouble, isn't he? I feel like that guy's pride was hurt, and he is going to want to inflict pain on him to make him feel better about himself. Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill him? Whoever moves that is a dead man. <laughs> William Ford holds the mortgage on flat. You have no claim to his life. That is mine, you touch. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Help him down. Why is no one doing anything? He's gonna die. Oh my gosh. This is so... Please help him! What are they doing? <sighs> he needs to get down. This is unthinkable. <laughs> she just looks like he walked away. How long? I thought that man was helping him. I thought he was protecting him. I believe TV is skulking about the bonus.
Francis is no longer safe here. I have transferred my debt to Edwin Epps. Isn't he in charge of Tibbets? Can he just say, you touch him and you're done? You must know that I'm not a slave. I was a free man trying to save your life. I have a debt to be mine for life. Oh, do better. And that is to Edwin Epps. He is a hard man, prides himself on being a breaker, but truthfully, I could find no others who would take him. No. You are an exceptional <laughs> plan. Oh my gosh. Couldn't he free him if he wanted to? I know he owes money on him, but just like sell some stuff. And that servant which knew his lord's will. Is this the bad guy? His new owner? Shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. That is so sick and twisted how you can read scripture and talk like that in the same sentence. Oh my gosh. 295 pounds. This real good boy. 182 for flat. How much can even an average make a day? 200 pounds. This ain't even average. 512 pounds for Patsy. Queen of the field she is. Where do I know him from? I think that's Lupita Nyong'o, right? Born and bred to the field. Her mother's. You can't give her to me. Please don't touch her. The lesson and rewards of righteous living. One hundred thirty-eight pounds for Phoebe. Hit one forty-five yesterday. Pull her out. Two hundred six pounds for George. Get him out. Where are they going? Come on, boy, move. <gasps> oh my gosh! How? How could you do it? I feel ill. What in the world? What is wrong with him? Sell her. No, I'm not. You remove oh. that black bitch from his property, or I'll take myself back to Janieville. Do not set yourself up against Patsy, my dear. Oh my gosh. Because I will rid myself of you well before I do away with her. What you looking at? He's drunk. Thanks. He gets them up in the middle of the night to dance. Why did the wife want Patsy gone so much? Does he like her as more than a good cotton picker? This is a list of goods and sundries. You will take it to be filled and return immediately. Where are you from, Platt? Oh, no. Washington. Who were your master? Master name of Freeman. He learned you to read? A word. Here or there. But I've no understanding of the written text. Don't trouble yourself with it. Master bought you here to work, that's all. Anymore, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. A hundred lashes for trying to read? This woman is evil. I want more than anything for him to get back to his family, but I'm so scared what they're gonna do if he gets caught trying to run. Come here, boy. No, don't. Where you going, boy? Both on him. You best get there then. Oh. I can't. Any trouble? No, I'm just trying to put myself in that position to have lived back then. And like, what would. I just could never. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Excuse me, Mr. Shaw. Patsy Master wishes you to return. Drank a tea. Thank you, Mistress, but I don't dare. Didn't drink the tea that often. Wouldn't be Epps' concern. A little gossip on the Sabbath be fine. Master Epps has somehow come to believe Master Shaw is something of a Lothario. I ain't felt the end of a lash in more years I can't recall. I ain't worked a field neither. I know what it's like to be the object of Master's predilections. A lusty visit in the night. Take comfort, Patsy. Good Lord will manage Epps in his own time. Good lot of manager, Mom. This is nice. I don't know how to feel about this. That's it. They're not looking in his direction. Continue on. Found him, Master. Brought her back just as instructed. What you just now tell her? No words were spoken, none of consequence. Oh my gosh. You're lying. Can I speak of what did not occur? Oh, come here. Oh my gosh. I brought her back just like you. Leave him alone. Leave Patsy alone. This is a lose lose. He can't fight back. Master. 
the Lord's Day. I don't know if a Christian in us care all like this. Oh my gosh, he's sick and twisted. I can see it to you. Master Epps, I can feel you! What's the fuss? Master Epps believed Patsy and me to be in conversation when we were not. You are in no account, Master. And my bed is too holy for you to share. What's he been telling you? Of your misbegotten ways. I ain't even spoken with him today. Have I? What is he supposed to do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's got to get out of here. No, 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 no. Is he going to hurt him? Showed this. I hate him so much. He just wants a piece of paper. Come sample what I baked for y'all. Thank you, Miss. There'll be none for you, Patsy. You see that look of insolence she gave me? Hot, hateful scorn. Oh it's my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoever it was, a biased. Is that how you are with the niggas? I can't stand it. They foul with the hate. You let it be, it's gonna come back to us in the dark of night. You are manless. Damn eunuch if there ever was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What'd she do to her? And then we dance. So disturbing. I said eat. So wrong and disturbing. <laughs> I have a request. A secret it from the mistress. Return it. In yours, Blair. All her eggs. End my life. Hold me low in the water until I steal and run out of life. Bury me in a lonely place. The gory detail with which you speak. I thought on it long and hard. How can you fall into such despair? How can you not? No. If I can't buy mercy, I'll beg it. She's making it to kill her. Do it. Do what I ain't got the strength to do myself. Please don't. How long has it been at this point now? It's a plague. It's got one. God don't send a plague to smite me. What I done that God hates me so. Uh. It's that godless lot. They brought me God's scorn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now what? Your judge turned this for the season. Don't bring no disrespect to me. Don't bring no biblical plagues to him. I'll take it out of your skin. Get out. They treat them worse than animals. Oh, his paper. <sighs> Clad, is it? You educated? Also. I had to work and I read all right. You play the fiddle. Yes, sir. Willa Gianni celebrates his anniversary in a three weeks time. What you earn is yours to keep. Why would it be bad for them to learn that they can read or write? <gasps> I'm wondering why it matters if they pay him if they don't give them the freedom to can they buy their freedom? They could send it back to their families, maybe? His family doesn't even know what happened to him, though. Ooh, joyous day. They're back. Joyous day. Clean living and prayer. Don't lift the plate. Her Judge Turner gave you favor. You begot implant. Oh my gosh. But you slick your ways. Let's go find something sweet for you. Candy. Whose baby was that little girl? Oh, this cotton. What? 160 pounds. Arms me. 64 pounds. I'm sure in time it'll develop as a picker. Put some damn effort into it. Take him out. Get the weapon. How did you arrive at such a place, if I may ask? He looks familiar, too. I became a little too dependent on the whiskey. That's what liable employment is overseeing is. No man of conscience can take the last to another human without shredding at his own self. Oh, he was an overseer of slaves? Proceeds of my fiddling performances. I promise them to you, but I beg you not to expose me if you cannot grant the request. What is it you ask? First, your words, son. 
Give him your word, Armsby. On my honor. I trust him, I think. I only ask that you deposit a letter and that you keep the action an inviolable secret forever. I'll do it, and I'll accept whatever payments offer. I really, really want him to be honest. I understand. I gotta learn it. The rights letters. Tries to get white fellas to mail it. Armsby told me today, devil was among my letters. Oh my God. There's no truth to it. How could I write a letter without ink and paper? Who am I gonna write to? I got no friends living as I know of. That Armsby's a lion. He wants to make you believe we're all gonna run away, so you'll hire him as an overseer. He believes you're soft so and he's given to such talk. What if he searches his bag, though? It's all a lie, Master. I'm so, so scared of him. Were he not free and white, Platt? Oh, I was close. Screw you, Armsby. No. That was his like last bit of hope. <sighs> the man in the field, he just died. I just want to hug him. <sighs> to the end. Hey, Bass. No shame in taking respite from the heat. Is that Brad Pitt? <laughs> and what's funny? Your concern for my well-being in this heat. The condition of your laborers. It's all wrong. All wrong, Mr. Epps. Yes. They ain't hired help. They're my property. I pay for them. And the law says you have the right to hold them. But begging the law's pardon, it lies. Suppose they pass a law taking away your liberty. That ain't a supposable case. Oh laws change, Epps. What is true and right is true and right for all. You compare me to a Best. In the eyes of God, what is the difference? Might as well ask what the difference is between a white man and a baboon. My gosh. If they are allowed to climb no higher than brute animals, you and men like you will have to answer for it. Yes, you will. Fine supposition if you lived among Yankees in New England, but you don't. Most assuredly do not. Maybe you could tell him. Oh no. Where's Pat? Where is she? Oh, no, no, no. no, I don't. You miserable black dogs. Is that her? Run off, did you? You miserable wench. Where you been? I've been your way. You're coming from Shaw's plantation. No. Oh. Oh. I went to Mrs. Shaw's plantation. I got this from Mrs. Shaw. I stink so much to make myself gay. Five hundred pounds. Day in, day out. For that, I will be clean. What I went to Shaw's for. Stripper, I'll ask you to the post. <gasps> <laughs> she went for soap. She's not lying. Do it. Strike the life from her. What? Give her the whip. Give it all to her. Pat, you come here and you be now. Don't. Don't. Pat! I'd rather you, Pat. Please don't make him do that. Please don't. <laughs> he pantomimes. She wanted to soap you. He will strike her until her flesh is burned, or I will kill every on my side. You understand me? Strike her! He's so evil. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Till I say no more, I ain't said nothing. Sin. Man does how he pleases with his property. Special place in hell for him. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. How is this real? Bass, I want to ask you what part of the country you come from. I originate from Canada. I've been there myself. He's from Canada. I traveled for a slave. How came you here? Tell him. If justice had been done, I never would have been here. Tell me all. I'm afraid to tell you. Every word you speak is a profound secret. 
The story is amazing, and in no good way. I beg that you write my friends in the north, acquainting them with my situation, and beseeching them to forward three papers. Please. It would be an unspeakable happiness to see my wife and my family again. My freedom is everything. The fact that I can walk out of here tomorrow brings me great pleasure. Life doesn't mean much to anyone. It seems yours might mean a lot to a whole lot of people. <laughs> What you ask of me scares me. Not just for you, but for me. Oh no. I will write your letter, sir. And if it brings you your freedom, it will be more than a pleasure. It will have been my duty. Would you kindly hand me those shingles? I don't here's the thing. I'm scared that even if they forward his papers, Epps will just like burn them or hide them or something. This is one of the saddest movies I've ever seen. Where's the ball called Pratt? Come here, boy. Please, please, please be a good thing. You know that man? Who is that? Mr. Ball. You look me in the eye. Have you any other name than Platt? Solomon Northup is my name. That's all this. It's official business. My business. I have a wife, two children. What was your wife's name before her marriage? Ann Hampton, I am who I say. Where are you going, Platt? You come back here. You come back here, boy. <laughs> No, nigga. And I'll find you for it. It will be my pleasure to bankrupt you in the court. Oh, him. Oh, my God. You belong to me. <laughs> oh, and him. I'm told you start to cross your back by sundown. Yes. Get my horse, Reach. <gasps> oh, he has to leave her there. This horrible hell. <laughs> Mr. Parker. Do they know he's coming home? Do they know? <laughs> they miss their whole life. <sighs> I apologize for my appearance, but I've had a <laughs> difficult time these past several years. <laughs> He's my husband. She's just a little girl. And this is your grandson, Solomon Northup Staunton. <sighs> There's nothing to forgive. <laughs> oh my god. Hamilton Brown, they did kidnap him. <sighs> Holy cow. Uh, that was just like incredibly emotional and terrible and heartbreaking and eye-opening and powerful and I seriously had a stomach ache the whole time. It was just so hard to watch. I have that feeling like after I've watched things like Hacksaw Ridge and Schindler's List, it's important to see. But it's just so heart-wrenching that humans can treat humans like that. Just like the scene where <laughs> He's so desperate to leave, but he has to leave Patsy behind, and you know her life is just utter hell. And it was for so many. I thought it was made so, so excellently because it made me feel so deeply. His acting was incredible. I guess the horrible man's acting was incredible too because oh, I despised him with a deep passion and he had to be good at playing that part. Just the way they lingered on scenes on his face to just like feel that discomfort and anxiousness and just made it so hard to watch. I just don't like that we lived in a time 
where that happened. It's hard to fathom for me. I'm so glad that people finally stood up for him. Mr. Parker and Brad Pitt's character. I hope I would have been like that. To see him see his family again was like so beautiful but also so heartbreaking because he missed so much. The fact that it's based on a true story. I'm just so glad he wrote it. I'm so glad he wrote his book and his story. Yeah, that was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. And like they said, like it had a happy ending for him, kind of, because his kidnappers never even got, but at least he got back to his family, but it was rare, it sounds like. And that was just talking about the ones who were kidnapped and sold in slavery. <sighs> Anyways, I know that won Best Picture and I can see why. I hope he won Best Actor for his performance. It's one of those that will change me and stick with me. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I don't want this to just be a Black History Month thing where I watch movies about Black history or with majority black casts. I hope to watch more about black history and until next time, I'll see you soon.